You have the power to create the life that you want. When you are playing the victim, you give your power away to the world. It's like you've lost control. That's what it means to be in that victim mentality when you feel like you've lost control of your own life and it's everything out there happening to you. Stop playing the victim. It's ruining your life. It's not going to get you far and you need to stop that mentality right now. Constantly complaining that nothing is ever working out for you. Always blaming the external situations about why you are where you are. Can you relate to this? Woo me, why does it have to be me? Because I know I can relate to this. That was me, I was that victim girl. And let me tell you this, it didn't get me very far in life. If anything, it was holding me back. It was holding me back. And that's why it's so important that you change this way of thinking, which can be so damaging for you and your future. Now, this one's going to be a bit of a tough love video. I hope you don't take it the wrong way. It's coming from a place of love, I promise. It's a message to my younger self. And to anyone who can relate to this, to someone who used to always be in that victim mentality, I was living in that victimhood for so long, so long, so long, too long, until I changed the way I thought, I changed my perspective and I saw how it changed my life and I want you to do the same. The truth is, we all have suffered in life. We've suffered. We are all victims of something or another. We've all been through it. We've all been through unfortunate circumstances. In particular, when we are young children, they are victims of their circumstances because they do not choose where they are and they cannot control their circumstances. However, when you get to a point, when you get to being, becoming an adult, it does then become your responsibility. And I get it that unfortunately some of us are victims of our circumstances in certain parts of the world. I get it. But a lot of us are thankfully in places where we do have more, more control of our life. We can do things. We have choices. We have options. Why is there some people who have this mentality and some people who don't? Well, as I just mentioned, it's a lot in my opinion, to do with the way we were brought up. I think that's probably the number one influence. Our family situation can influence who we are, who we become, the way we were brought up, because that's where we are influenced. That's where we are taught from a young age how to think in a way if we were brought up in a family where we were struggling, maybe we came from a poor background, for example, where our parents were struggling, maybe we saw our parents dealing with challenges and problems by blaming others. That's the way they dealt with it. So sometimes we can adopt that mentality from the people who were surrounding us, who were surrounding us at the time, from our parents. And of course, you know, parents are a product of their own environment. You know, let's not forget that. This isn't about blaming, this is about understanding 
how we be, how we get to this kind of mentality. We saw this mentality where you always blame external situations if you are going through a problem, struggles, and that's the way we saw people deal with it. And then that becomes normality for us. We copy the people who, especially when we are young, when we when we are a child, you know, children copy adults. And that's how we adopt that mentality. And for some of us, it could be because we have experienced trauma in the past, suffering and trauma, but we've not let go. We're holding onto it, onto being a victim. And we carry it through into adults, adulthood and into different situations of our life. Unfortunately, I think a lot of us, we get addicted to our suffering. I know it sounds crazy. I used to be that girl. You know, some of us, we rather stay in the pain and the suffering that we know and blame others and blame external situations because it's familiar, rather than step into the unknown. That's more scary. So we rather stay comfortable and cozy in the pain that we know, because it's comfortable. It's easy to be in that victim mentality. It really is. I see people around me in that mentality. It's almost like they like to be in that situation because it takes more effort, as harsh as it may sound, it takes more effort to make changes in your life than not. It takes more effort to step into the unknown, to take risks. That takes more courage. That takes more effort to change your life. It takes some effort and hard work. So what happens is some of us, we rather stay in our comfort zone and complain and not do anything about it, but because it's comfortable. It's so important that we heal and do the inner work that we need to so that we are not going to stay in that victim mentality and that we build the confidence that we can deal with challenging issues in our life. Because we are all going to experience uncertainty in our life. We are, I'm telling you. And I'm sure you can agree with me. So wouldn't you rather Be someone who knows that you have control of your life and how you deal with the problems and not be afraid of the problems, knowing that you've got this, you've got this, you can take care of it. Rather than wallowing about the problems, like, woo, me, there's nothing I can do about it. How about shifting that mindset and thinking, you know what, problems are going to come in my life all the time but it's about how I look at the problem I'm going to overcome this problem isn't this more empowering way of feeling about life that you have control the minute you have the minute you start playing victim you are giving the power away to everything else out there so you need to pull back that power Stop that victim mentality and understand that you can change things in your life. You have the power, you have the choice. How can you recognize when you are playing the victim? You know, from time to time, when you have been the victim girl like me for a long time, it can be easy to fall into that trap sometimes. So I can recognize it now when I'm playing the victim and I have to like, nip it in the bud straight away. So how can you know, or how do you know when you are playing the victim or when you are feeling sorry for yourself in the situation? Well, this is how. The first way 
is when you have a circumstance happen or if there's a problem, notice yourself, how are you feeling about this situation? Do you automatically go, why me? This isn't fair. It's always me. The world is against me. Does that sound familiar? If you are thinking like this, it means you have the victim mentality. When you are constantly ruminating about problems, I used to do this all the time. You know, I was that, oh. Anytime I used to have a problem, I had to talk about it a million times until I bored the death out of the people around me. <laughs> Honestly, like I always had to talk about my problems to everyone, you know? That's how you know you are playing the victim when you're constantly dwelling on the problem for a long period of time, not letting it go, not moving on, not solving. And guess what happens when you're constantly focusing on the problem? Where our focus goes, that's where, that's what we attract more into our life, where our attention goes. So guess what usually happens? we attract more problems and that's how it becomes into a vicious cycle you know like those people who are always complaining about their problem it's always something i have these types of people in you know friends and family members who are like this always complaining and there's always something you know it, something there's always something it's because they're constantly living in their problem it's almost like that's they, they like to live like that, <laughs> you know, because they don't realize you have to become self-aware. But if you're in denial, then that's not going to help because you're not going to recognize that you are constantly living in a way where it's not helping you. If you're someone who's always self-critical, you feel like you're not worthy enough, you feel like you don't deserve anything, maybe because of a certain background that you come from. All these factors can play a part in why you feel like a victim of your life. How can you change that? How can you change your mindset to retrain your mind so that you are no longer feeling like a victim of your life so that you can feel like you have the power in your life to make the changes that you need. You have the power to go create the life that you want, become that 2.0 version of yourself and go get what you want because you can, I promise you can. The first thing is you really, really need to take change that mindset from that victim mentality. How do you do this? Well, first, you need to understand and it, that everything that happens, take responsibility for it. Rather than blaming people or situations, take responsibility. I know some of us, you know, we maybe wish that we were born into the perfect parents, family setting. Don't we all? Don't we all wish we were born into better family settings? But unfortunately, that didn't happen. So what does that mean? We're going to hold on to that forever? No, that's not gonna get you very far. You need to take ownership of where you are right now in your life. The minute you take responsibility of your life and the choices, the minute you have the power back, I've learned this and it's true. When I used to complain, about my situation, it's for this reason, it's because of the bully, it's because of this. I was giving my power away, it meant that I have no control and power of my life. So isn't it better that you feel like you have a choice in your life, the actions that you take, when you have a problem, you take responsibility of that. That means you have the power and control of your life. That's the best way. Taking responsibility is the best way 
to feel like you are in control of your life. You are the author. You are the creator. You're going to go and do what you need to do to create the life that you want. That's what happens when you take responsibility of your life and not blaming external situations about where you are right now. Be responsible for where you are right now. Everything. Everything. For everything in your life right now, take responsibility and you will see the changes that happen. The next point is to change from the victim mode, thinking that not you don't have things and changing it to gratitude mode, right? We may have heard of gratitude all the time and some of us may be thinking whatever, but you know what, it's true. People who are grateful for what they have, guess what? They get more in their life. People who are not grateful for what they have, guess what? They lose more of what they don't have. When you're constantly in that mentality I don't have this, I don't have that, I wish I had this, I wish I had that. Guess what? These people are not going to attract more into their life because they do not have gratitude. It's true. When you practice gratitude, you will get more into your life. That's the way it works. You need to be grateful for what you have right now. In order to attract more in life, You need to be grateful for the simple things that you have right now. And I think this is an easy one for all of us to do. You know, so often we think that we don't have enough, but when we actually really look at our life, we probably have more than enough. And we need to be grateful for what we have. If you have a family, if you have a husband, be grateful for that. If you have a job, Be grateful for that and then you will get more. When you complain and look at what you don't have and that lack mentality, it's just going to give you more situations of not having enough. And the next point is, I know a lot of us have experienced suffering in the past, trauma, whatever it may be. As I mentioned, that I've experienced some trauma in the past growing up and I've learned that you really do have to put a closure to that learn to forgive I know some of us we can hold on to the things that we went through in the past and we keep blaming that situation that yes it was unfair I'm not justifying the reasons why we were a victim of the circumstances. But there comes a point in order to move on in life, in order to move on to the next chapter, you need to learn to forgive the people if they've hurt you and put a closure to that. Because you know what? When you hold on to anger and resentment, Guess who it hurts the most? You. When you hold on to anger and resentment, you're carrying it through to everything in life. You have that hurt and anger and you're going to almost feel like that about most things in life. You're going to feel like the world is against you. So you really need to let go of that hurt, put a closure to it, forgive the people that have hurt you, that caused suffering in the past. When you learn to do that, then it's almost like you can be free. When you let go and not let the past define you, you can be free. It's like letting go of baggage that you've been carrying for a really long time. And sometimes maybe we need to speak about this, we need to speak to a therapist in order to put a closure to our past. Do what you need to do to heal so that you can move on in life because holding on to that grudge, the hurt, it does you more damage than anyone else, trust me. I know.
remember that you are in control of your life. When you play victim, when you start feeling sorry for yourself, you're giving the power away. We are all going to experience situations in our life, uncertainty, but it's really about how you deal with the situations. That is what's going to define the next steps in your life. It's about how you deal with the situations. Are you going to fall a victim to the situation or are you going to take control, have the power to overcome the challenges and create the life that you want by becoming responsible for whatever happens in your life, being responsible. Don't give the power away by becoming a victim. I hope you found this video useful. I hope it has helped you in some form of way. If you're someone who can relate to this, this way of thinking, I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below if you've got anything to share. If you've liked this video, I'd really appreciate if you press the like button and also subscribe. This will let me know that you've enjoyed this video. I hope you're all doing really well. I'm sending you my love here from the UK and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care. Bye.